How's it going guys? Welcome to MTech. I am Matthias and today we are looking at the rose gold Apple Sport watch. Not the rose gold watch that's just solid rose gold. That's just absurd. Who's gonna pay that much for a watch? Actually probably a bunch of people, but hey, no judgment here. I'm just not going to. If you're a keen observer, you notice I already have a watch. So this watch is the 38 millimeter. Now, why do you need two watches? Well, the truth is you don't. This one's for my wife. So, let's get into it. All right, here we have the standard box. I do know that when you buy the stainless steel ones and the better ones, they come in a square box, but uh, the watch sport comes in this box. Now this is the Apple Watch Sport and it comes in silver aluminum at 38 and 42, space gray, rose gold, and gold right here. This watch comes with what they call as a traveling case and it's so big. Well, who's gonna travel with a box this size? If I'm traveling, the watch is gonna be on my wrist because they have the little QR codes and the barcodes that you just scan at the airport. They've got another band. Now, this 38 millimeter watch comes with two bands, one for medium and large, as you can see here, and one for the correct size of the typical women's wrist. Really? Really? Comes with an extra long cable. Put that back in there, and just a regular wall charger. One of the things I'm not a fan of when you're buying these things from Apple is that you can't choose the color of your band. And they're just, they're just silly silicone bands and they charge a ton for them, but you should be able to at least choose the color. Definitely a much different color than the regular gold. I thought it was gonna be a lot more minimal in the difference, but if you look, if you look right here, the difference between these two colors is, um, this is obviously much more rose, much more pink. It is quite a bit smaller. It's surprisingly small. That would not work for me, let me tell you. This watch barely works for me as is. Now the Apple Watch, they claim the 38 millimeter to have 18 hours of battery life. Yeah, the screen size on this guy is 1.32 inches and um, obviously it's running iOS. This one in particular, I believe iOS 8, iOS 9 comes out, I think in a couple days. As of recording this video, iOS 9 is not out and that makes these watches not as useful as they could be. And that's because the apps aren't on the device. They're streamed to the device from the phone and that's just a super slow process. If you've ever used an Apple Watch, you know that they're not speedy devices. They will be, but they're not now. Let's turn this guy on by just holding that power button. There we go, you see the little Apple symbol come up. The weight of this aluminum sport watch is, it feels so much lighter, even though it's only, I think like around uh, a quarter of an ounce lighter than this one. Um, these are about half the weight as their uh, steel counterparts. Now the screen resolution of this 38 millimeter watch is 272 by 340, which means there's a pixel density of about 290 PPI. Does come with force touch, which I imagine is the same thing as the 6S's 3D touch. I don't know why, if they're deciding to brand it differently on each device. So I've got my wife's phone right here and we're gonna get it all paired up. All right, it says open Apple Watch app on your iPhone and tap to start pairing. Start pairing, start pairing. All right, we wanna do this little thing here. There we go. We're gonna restore from backup because she was using um, my previous Apple Watch just so she could get the feel for it in case, you know, she didn't want it. So we're gonna restore from a backup here. This particular Apple Watch Sport has an Ion X glass. This is a different glass as the other Apple Watches. The other ones come with sapphire displays. We got the digital crown over here. This one's actually a lot smoother than mine. Mine's actually kind of difficult. The Apple Watch is water resistant, okay? So it's not actually waterproof. It's splash proof and water resistant, but not waterproof. So make sure you know the difference between the two. It's got a heart rate sensor, accelerometer, gyroscope, Bluetooth 4.0. Now my Apple Watch, which is the 42 millimeter, uh, Apple Watch Sport does in fact last me two days of use. So I'm very curious to know if this guy will do the same 
Um, probably because my wife does, won't use it as much as me, but uh, that remains to be seen. All right, now it is asking us to input a passcode. There we go. Once this finishes syncing, she's going to have all of her apps that she previously installed now on this device. If you guys enjoyed this unboxing of the 38 millimeter rose gold Apple Sport Watch, give this video a like and let me know down in the comments below which one do you think is the best color, the best looking color. They got silver aluminum, they got space gray, they got rose gold and what I like to call champagne which is just the normal gold but not like, you know, the tacky gold, the one that's like $10,000. And remember to subscribe. See you next time.